Doing this off the cuff. Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. And I have made another file. It's getting close to Christmas. I don't know what time you're gonna watch this, but... Oops. <laughs> Gifts. You know what? Bottle openers. These things are awesome. Uh, I did not know how they were going to come out. I have tried so many different ways. As you can see here, these are my mistakes. And uh, anybody who knows my channel knows I usually start out with foam. I tried so many different lengths and widths and everything and finally came up with this. And I don't know if you could see this. I know I took a picture of it. I'll put that up. And it's on Etsy, like $2.20 right now. Who knows with inflation, right? But... <laughs> I'm adding this towards the beginning that when you get the file and download it, you have to say all supported files to be able to find the SVG file. Now that should come right into Lightburn. You should already see your layers and then you have to figure out the settings. That's what you have to do with a laser. So test, 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 get your settings for whatever kind of wood you're going to use and you should be good to go. It's really pretty simple. SE doesn't support Lightburn files. I wish they did. Maybe one day they will. And you'll see on my store I have, if you want to get into leather, I get some awesome, amazing <laughs> uh, wallets there. And then you can go and get these bottle openers from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Now they're um, already anodized and with your laser, you can just etch these off and they work great. They're fine. And you could sell them as is. I think they cost like a, a buck something, buck 50 a piece. You know, these things are easily going for five, 10 bucks. Uh, these for 30. So it's a great way to go. Now I made this little saying because, you know, I've been a hippie most of my life as was my father. And not all who wonder or lost is just something, you know, it's been around for a long time. And then I just thought, you know, not all who wander are found. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny, so I, I made it up. I can't imagine somebody else in this world hasn't thought of it, but I didn't see it anywhere. So at, I left that in the file because you know what? If I show it to you and people buy the file, they're going to say, well, where is that? So I just left it on there. You can replace this, of course, with your own logo and... Uh, what kind of wood you would use? I get all my stuff from Craft Closet. In fact, I contacted them because I want to work with them. I'm, I, I've changed things with this channel a lot. I've decided I usually, I just try to work with the companies that I'm already enjoying their products. And that just seems, you know, like a no brainer for me. I'm already buying all my wood from Craft Closet, so I'm like, hey, you know, why not just work with them? <laughs> uh, you know, it's just not about price. They have a really good selection of different kinds of things. I mean, this aromatic cedar, people love it, and it's so beautiful. But then, you know, my typical hardwoods with, this is cherry here, and if you need something light that you can engrave on, of course, this is... Uh, Maple, which always looks good. I, to me, now of course they have uh, Baltic birch, but to me that's just what everybody uses to make laser projects and I, I just, I don't find myself using it that much. If I have to make a couple thousand coasters for a customer, sure, I'm, you know, I'm gonna use that. Uh, but when it comes to like, this is a hardwood here. And I just think it looks so nice. And of course, if you're going to be sanding these edges, you know, a hardwood is the way to go, at least in my opinion. And they have a lots of variety of this. It comes about this thickness. And I use lacquer. You know, I think a polyurethane might actually probably hold up better, but nothing beats just the way it looks. I just love the way a lacquer looks. It's just rich, you know? I used to live in Japan, so I guess I found a love for it uh, there. They do it so well there, of course. But back to the file, I guess. Uh, yeah, it, I made it just slightly. It, you will note just a tiniest, tiniest bit 
smaller than the actual bottle opener. Uh, it just seemed to feel the best that way. Like it wasn't gonna get caught. I wasn't gonna ruin the wood. This is eighth inch. It cuts really well on most every laser. And look at that. I mean, front, back, it just, it works perfect. I mean, it, 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 it you know, I did a decent job. <laughs> and uh, what I do is, um, after you've cut this out, uh, I do a sanding right away, just, you know, with a, with a palm sander. But as far as doing the rest of the sanding, you can go one of two ways. You can uh, go ahead and glue it. And I glue, I, I put super glue on this part, making sure that I don't get it too close in this area. Now this is fine because it's super tight to it. But here you've got this gap so that you can get it on the bottle. And so you don't want to put your super glue right next to, to that. Uh, but after you do a couple of these, you get totally used to it. Now, why don't I just put it on the wood? Because that's the right size and you can put it right on there. Well, the thing is, is if you do that, you better make darn sure that right when you put it on, you've got this thing exactly perfect. And uh, sorry, my hands are dirty. I have been doing some serious work and it's stained. They're not dirty. But anyway, that's what happens. We make stuff around here. So, we're, oh yeah, um, yeah, if you glue it on the wood, as soon as you put it onto this metal, it's going to be stuck. It gives you no room for messing around. I have ruined a couple. Well, you can see I've done a lot of testing. Here's the remnants of one I did that way. Uh, if you put it on the metal, it does give you a little bit of work time to be able to move it around and get it exactly where you want it to be, and then it'll stick. So for me, that has worked better. And then after that, I actually, you could probably see, I sanded this with a Dremel and it just doesn't look as good to me. I think it looks better hand sanding. It doesn't take very long. I sand a little bit and just kind of give it, you know, a rounded edge so it feels good in your hand. And I'll be selling these, giving them for Christmas, putting them on, you know, doing my shows and everything. I think this is wonderful. Now I have yet to actually even try to sell this saying, <laughs> but I'll be putting lots of different sayings. These are, this is all just tests to get it where I wanted it so that I am very happy with it. So I hope you'll be happy with it. And for $2.20, I think you're gonna be. And you could probably make a ton of these and make great money on them. Look around the internet, look at what something like this is going for and what it's going to cost you. Um, and what different beautiful woods that you can use. I, I can't get enough of this uh, aromatic cedar and just the depth of it, just the beauty. Now I did try to, you notice how thick this is. Actually it feels really good in your hand. But uh, at first I tried to use just super thin wood and you know, it works. It works and it will give you a nice thin uh, bottle opener, but it doesn't feel to me like it will last as long and it, it doesn't feel as good in the hand and it's much, much more difficult to do. And then you gotta make sure you get glue right on the edges and everything. But the nice thing is, is you can get a bunch of these veneers and you could do it in so many different kinds of wood that, you know, are absolutely gorgeous. It, you know, there is, you know, play around, see, see what you want to do. Uh, but I have had some uh, not great success on that. So, and it breaks very, very easily, but you could really work with some beautiful woods. I don't know if there's a lot more to say. I mean, it's a simple thing. Obviously it wasn't simple for me to make, which seems weird. It seems like one of the easiest files ever to make on a laser, but uh, I mean, even, even the mountains, they go a little bit below the line, which doesn't matter because it gets cut out anyway. But, but I could take some time and fix all that stuff if somebody out there wants to do it. Uh, that would be helpful. But I think that's all I got to say for this one. Um, have fun, post a picture of what you make. I wanna see you know what designs people come up with, what sayings. 
you know, what stuff can you do that's original? And uh, I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.